we go. Boy Reviews! All right, welcome back to Boy Reviews for another short reaction here today from Netflix. And this is the upcoming film or series. I'm not sure which one it is, but this is Chakta Express. Official announcement with Anushka Sharma, the wife of Virat Kohli from Netflix India. And this is the year is 2008, and cricket is more than a sport, but where are the women? Enter Julan Goswami. Now, Goswami, I've seen recently, the last test that she played last ODI was just in September of this year. So I'm assuming she might be officially retired, but I'm not exactly sure. But I have seen her play. I couldn't remember if it was the um, women's IPL or if I watched it in national cricket, um, international cricket for India. But regardless, this is a film or series that is about her life, and it stars... Anushka Sharma. So if the year is 2008, Virat Kohli, from my memory, was playing for Team India that time. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Obviously, she's not playing Virat Kohli. She's playing Goswami. But kind of some cool similarities there. Let's see if there's any references here or there at all. This is only a minute. We'll have to see what's going on. As I do, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video. Share it with your friends. And if you do not know, I love cricket. So this, I'm always, I was excited. Got the Indian hat on when there is a cricket related show or movie coming out. And we'll see what this one's all about right now. Those are the men's team jerseys. Yeah, there's Sasha. Kharav, BBS, Lakshman, Varindra Sevag. <laughs> Stop it. Don't tell me that's actually what they had to do. There's no way. Is किंतु चिंता करो ना आज जर्सी पे अपना नाम बना लिया आजकल अपना पहचान भी बना लेगा नाइस आई लाइक दैट फिल्मिंग बिगिन्स सून ओह माय गुडनेस ग्रेशियस फिल्मिंग बिगिन्स दे हैव इवन फिल्म दिस थिंग येट ओह माय गुडनेस ग्रेशियस सो that was, I can't imagine that's what actually happened. They just took the men's jerseys and they put the women's names on the back with some tape. You saw the stands there at that match. Nobody was there. That reminded me of the USA-Ireland match that Gabe and I and Chris went to not too long ago. Maybe 100 people total. Uh, I didn't see anyone napping and sleeping there. But that kind of reminded me of that when something is starting and it's not on the same level... Um, you know, media-wise and the attention of the country or whatever the nation and the, the other countries, that's kind of what you have. You have to start from somewhere. Uh, I've seen some women's matches and the stands aren't that empty. Thank goodness. So it's interesting. She, the Indian team, as far as India women's cricket, must have played a big pivotal role in kind of turning the tides. I see that she led India in 2017 to the World Cup. They lost to England. But, I mean, she, there you go. She's still presently playing for them. She's been playing since 2002. As far as a little bit of stats goes right here, 240 wickets in ODIs, 44 in tests, only 12 matches. So she's got 240 wickets internationally for ODI. And she's got 56 for T20. So all together, she's got over 300 wickets internationally, which is really, really cool. She was the captain for some time. Yeah, there you go. IPL, Trailblazers. That's, what, that's where I must have saw her because I saw that finals the Trailblazers was in. So that's really awesome. There's a movie about her. I'm curious, number 10. Who is number 10? That's the jersey she had. That was Sashin, right? That was the first one we saw get out the, the rack. 
I believe he wore number 10. That would have been crazy if she would have pulled off Coley's jersey. Now, again, he was there for the 2007, which I think played in the 2008 World Cup. Coley was. He wasn't one of the main stars at the time. But that would have been crazy, a little Easter egg, if she would have pulled off his jersey. Just for fun, a little nod there. But she pulled off Sachin, so she's the equivalent, I'm assuming, of Sachin at that time, be the captain, leading the team, all that kind of stuff. But this is cool. This is exciting. This is going to hopefully broaden the horizons of those cricket fans to the women's game myself included i have not watched too much of the women's game but i have watched some i've always been very very impressed but let me know what you think about this are you excited for this film this series that's coming out hasn't even been filmed yet i think anushka sharma is great in the role there's so many different layers there layers there but at the end of the day she's a great actress and she definitely looks um very committed to the role just in that little thing that we saw there she has the the strength that you would need to play the captain of the women's Indian team when you don't have the stands filled. Let me know what your thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Comment below. And until next time, adios.